All right, we're sitting with Percy Keith. How are you, brother? I'm doing good. All right. Good. Let's jump right into it. So you're Baton Rouge native? Yeah, most definitely. All right. You born and raised in this joint? Born and raised, man. All right. What part of town? Uh, in the rough part of town, really. Okay. In the rough part, South Baton Rouge. South Baton Rouge. Yeah, the most, bottom. Most, yeah. Uh, not, not so necessarily just in the bottom. Okay. Just, just in the core of South Baton Rouge. Like, okay. People from there know that. Okay. Uh, all right. What high school did you attend? I went to several of them. I went to five of them, man. I got put out. <laughs> <laughs> Life comes at you I fast. Went to, I went to several of them, man. A few of them not even high school anymore. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been in high school, man. Okay. I'm no spring chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. Was it always music? Did you always want to do music? Yeah, I always wanted to do music since I first started listening to, to rap music. Mm -hmm. Like, that's who, who don't want to do that when they first hear rap music? Like, okay. when kids watch karate movies, they jumping off the couch doing kicks. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. As a kid, and you see, you know, the culture going one way, of course you're going to want to emulate it and, okay. and duplicate it. And, yeah. And I attempted to do that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So it's okay. always been music. All right. All right. It's so a pastime. I don't mean to keep cutting y'all off. No, right? no, you're good. You're good. Give it to me. I played basketball as well. You okay. Know what I'm it was, you know, I had dreams of doing something with basketball. I okay. had my future with it, but the streets drove me one way and basketball took me another. And okay. You know who gonna win that battle out of streets and basketball. <laughs> yeah. So I ended up playing street ball. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so who inspired you musically? Uh, a Ball and MJG most definitely. Mm -hmm. With all the things they rapped about. Okay. And Master P. Okay. And everybody from No Limit in the, in the mid to late man, just that was that was the way it done, man. Mm hmm Yeah. Absolutely. So what would you say was your favorite album uh, coming up? My favorite album coming up would have to be A Ball and MJG coming out hard. Oh, that's when classic. I heard that Mr. Big man, like mm -hmm. when the first when it first come on. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I know people gonna gonna go Google this and YouTube it. <laughs> Now, when that beat first come on, man, you got to put your mind back in 1993, 4, and 5. Yes. You know, enough about the trick that died in the nine dukes. It's all about the motherfucking nine tricks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Y'all going to see by way I'm on this job and make it deep. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah, I remember it as well. That yeah. Yeah, that was banging in my dynasty Move back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, you did a bid. Yeah, I did a song. <laughs> So how long, this last one, how long were you in? I was in about 11 months this time. I ain't get no conviction. Okay. God bless the trap niggas this time. Okay. So I stepped out of there, no open cases, no probation, no parole. All right. Yes. So you're free, free and travel. done. Free yeah. man. Oh, very free. <laughs> I don't think you understand the word free. Even when you're walking around free, you might not necessarily be free. Until it's you taken know? from you. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Like I said, you paying basically to be, to be free. That's all probation and parole deal. Yeah. You paying to be free, man. You paying your ransom. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You paying your own ransom. Don't pay them and watch what happens. Right. You don't see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. So how long you been out? Uh, I've been home almost for a year now. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I ain't been out in public like talking about it because mm -hmm. it takes a minute to adapt to a certain situation. Like out of all the times I've been incarcerated, I had an out date. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Eventually. Mm -hmm. This time right here, man, I wasn't released that way. Yeah. Like, it was situations with my case where they had to get thrown out due to corruption or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Not to dive too deep off in that situation. But uh, me and a lot of more people, cases got thrown out due to corruption within our cases, due okay. to an arresting officer. Mm -hmm. So when that happened, I had no heads up that I was being released. It was, you know, just, hey. Get out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. Okay. It was a blessing, but I had to deal with the reality of it. I right. didn't have an address at the time. I was mm -hmm. facing 25 years to life, man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And I'm knowing that I'm at the time, I'm knowing that I'm finna have to do this time. So it don't mm -hmm. make sense to be paying for all bills and the cost of living mm -hmm. in a society that I'm not even living in. Right. You know what I'm saying? I right. had a lot of my money put on my books and, you know, the Spent a lot of money on illegal cell phones and, and right. things of that nature. Okay. You know, I got so you. back into reality, you have phone bills, you have, you know, birthdays and expectations <laughs> of the father, and that's that's a boyfriend, and mm -hmm. that's a little son, and, mm -hmm. you know, just like that. It was kind of okay. like a bad ass trip. <laughs> you know, so it took me like six <laughs> months to adapt. Yeah, yeah, but you're here now, and that's what's important. Right? Yeah, that's it. 
All right. So um, what do you think the impact of you being incarcerated had on your career? Well, really what it had on my life, really, for me, uh, patience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And how okay. much of a virtue it is and the importance level it is on, okay. on, on the list of virtue. Mm -hmm. You know, like, <clears throat> when you have patience, man, you, you, you learn to uh, think before you speak. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You learn to listen before you speak. Okay. You feel me? And yeah. plus, you can add that to multiple uh, aspects of your life once mm -hmm. you, you get out. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you learn to keep faith in rough situations, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Man, being incarcerated, man, being in hard times really taught me how to proceed when life get hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, if you can take that, you know what I'm saying? Then you can take on pretty much whatever the world throw at you. Okay. You know? So, That's fact. That's yeah, fact. Man, not all people take it that way. Some people, you know, get lost in the sauce. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Some people do make it out of it with the intellectual tidbits that was dropped on you from life teaching you a real hard lesson. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. I got you. So let's let's move in uh, to your fan base. It seems like you have a large fan base outside of Louisiana. You're doing good numbers and well, great numbers in Houston, in Dallas, Chicago. I mean, so why do you think your fan base is so much stronger outside of your hometown and your home state? I don't. I don't think it's nothing personal. Really, it might be just another game due to population level. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like you check it. Statistics like these, mm -hmm. these cities you name have a much larger population than Baton Rouge. Yeah, it might be that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But at least the numbers are showing that right. real recognized real regardless yeah. of you know that's what, what counts. You speak. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> Would you consider yourself a slept-on artist from Louisiana? Well, not really. Not really. Okay. I feel like whatever all recognition that I, I don't receive is not on the behalf of my city or fans of music or anything like that. I mm -hmm. think it's strictly my fault. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to juggle a, a music career and other things that I was pursuing in. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So Absolutely. You can't be in two places at one time. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? The life right. that I was living, like, I can't be on my social media living the life of a rapper. Right. The life of a rapper is the life of a trapper. That's the way it's perceived. Yeah. But when you're really doing those things, mm -hmm. you can't perceive those things because you're really doing those things. You're and you see it. how the rabbit hole can go. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yet right. still, I ended up in federal custody. You feel what I mean? Yeah, I so, got you. <laughs> I totally so feel that. It's not the fans' fault, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, that I wasn't more of a rapper. Okay. I was more of a trapper. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They probably slept on me, but they felt me. Yeah. You feel me? And that's what's important. Right. That's what's important. Sleep. Okay. So, is there anybody in Louisiana that you would like to work with in the future? Man, not to sound generic or too politically mm -hmm. correct. In sure. I'd like to work with anybody from all from Louisiana. Yeah. If it's about that dollar. That's it. Most definitely. If they, they, you say work with anybody? Yeah. Anybody? Yeah, they working, right? So that mean they getting that bag? Yeah, I would like to get some of that bag too. The more <laughs> people, the more bags. So, Absolutely. Yeah, and I'm not trying to discriminate the, the country music, rock and roll, <laughs> honky talk. Give cold. you a call. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. Yeah, we can jazz that up, man. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. outside of Louisiana, who would you like to work with? Same yeah, thing? Same case scenario. That's it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, man, I've been really digging on this is just the music that I'm listening yeah. to. Yeah. It's, uh, it's Don Tolliver, man. Okay. I do a music, man. Yeah. Uh, man. Yeah, I'm digging him. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't mind, you know, making music with him. Okay. I wouldn't even have to do no audio tracks. It's being a part of the creative process. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah, just on some artistic shit. That's just right now at the moment. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> Two it's weeks ago, it was done on the week before that. It was Ryder Rich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it varies. I get you. I get you. So, talking about future products, um, projects uh, besides music. Oh, I got I got future products too, man. Yeah, yeah. About to ask you about yeah, that. Now, what other ventures are you working on right uh, now? We selling hogs and dogs. Hogs and dogs. <laughs> yeah, cats and frogs. <laughs> 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 if it walks, uh, scratch, itch, and they got a price on it, we we, we got that for you. Uh, what did Jay-Z yeah, say? Uh, Ice in the winter, fire in hell. I'm yeah, a hustler, yeah, baby. Man. I'll sell water to a well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got some things going on, man. Like okay. trying to create some passive income, like yeah. ways to make money mm -hmm. outside of my main source of income. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? I got you. <clears throat> Plus, I'm, I'm like educating myself for a future career after the lights and the microphone get turned off. Right. You know That's the saying? smart thing. Yeah, you know how the showbiz is, man. The curtain's got to close eventually. It gets fickle you know sometimes, man. right? So right. people, give a, you know, they don't like to come off stage. Mm -hmm. You know, even right. when people no longer frequent the theater. Mm -hmm. You feel what I mean? Yeah, I got you. So, you know, you got to prepare for the future, man. That's, That's what it. I'm doing. Okay. All right. right. 
So future projects, musically, what are you working on right now? Man, I'm working on a project that fans probably won't hear until like three other projects come out. Okay. Like what I have coming out is music that I've recorded over the past two or three years. Really? And the music that I have coming out on a project after that mm -hmm. is going to be the music that I recorded over the last year. Okay. Then the third one is going to be six months. You get what I'm saying? I got like, you. Because I got yeah. music stocked up. Stocked up, you right. Know? Prolific is the word. Yeah, man, That's there, it. Yeah, we doing this. Like, I'm in front of camera again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, not too long ago, man, the things that I was handling, I wasn't supposed to be on camera, but mm -hmm. now I'm able to be more... You know, social and put yourself out more there. Visible. That's it. You know what I'm okay. saying? Any new singles we should be looking out for? Yeah, man, we got singles that the team ready to get put out. Man, I get calls from my team asking me, man, like, man, when we putting this song out? Like, what's mm -hmm. up, with, uh, man? When the video, when the video come out? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. Get ready, because it's, it's a good product. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and things like that. Like, when you actually a fan of music, you want other people to hear. Okay. Like, look at what we got going on. Like, listen to this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's what we did with it right now. We got okay. a lot of singles. Okay. All right. Well, that's hot, brother. That's hot, man. Yeah, man. Much success to you now. Is there anything that you want to say? Anything you want everyone to know about? Yeah, what else? I want y'all to follow me on uh, my Instagram. That's what I want y'all to do. Y'all okay. um, know what it is. If not, the description will be somewhere in the, uh, on the video tag somewhere. All contact information, all action calls is going to be listed in here, man. That's all I need y'all to do. And click on the related video. Click on the video that was related previous to this. You know what I'm saying? Just stay tuned. That's all I ask, man. Just stay tuned. You're going to like what you see and you're going to enjoy what you hear. Good to stay tuned down. <laughs> all right. Percy Keith. Uh -huh. Thank you, brother. Appreciate yeah, you. Man. All right.